Vegas, Nevada. We're here at the SEMA show. We're here with Zach, and we're here with the second Earth Roamer. Holy yep. buckets. This was just released yesterday, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay. This is the uh, new Earth Roamer SX. This one is actually based on a Chevy, so this is the first time we've oh. built on anything other than Ford in okay. 24 years. Uh, so we released it on the Chevy 6500. Um, and this is uh, kind of the big brother to the LTI. Okay. So four feet longer overall, uh, but just about the same height and the same width as the other truck. So we're going to okay. be able to take it on all the same trails. So if a customer is looking at one or the other, this is sort of like the Grand Tour. Absolutely. A little more luxury, a yep. little bit bigger. Absolutely. Yeah, we've got our sports car and our Grand Touring car. And here. a Grand Touring. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to ask you what the zero to 60 time is then. <laughs> I'm the smart one. If Fair enough. That, well, that, I can tell you that from Colorado to here for the SEMA show, we were averaging about 82 miles an hour uh, the whole way here. Wow. Doing two finger driving. And uh, I actually got about 10.7 miles to the gallon hand calculated. That is, that's, that says something. Yep. Holy and smoke. Over 80 miles an hour, 10.7 uh, yeah, MPG. And not bad, especially on 43 oh, inch military oh, tires. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, um, Let's talk about a little bit about the front, and, and we hadn't pointed out on the other one, but you've got these beautiful lights, the dragon yeah. lights, a little different design than the one on the Ford. Yep, so uh, on our LTI model, uh, this is a light bar. Now on this one, we actually decided to go with the linkable pods from Baja Designs. So okay. all of our lighting is all Baja Designs. Okay. Uh, they build a beautiful product. And so we've got uh, all sorts of different types of driving lights all over this. Yeah, it's all over. It's up on the, uh, yep. on the by the windshield, down by the bumpers. Yep. Talk about the bumper a little bit, because this is all manufactured in-house. Yep, so this is a, our uh, aluminum bumper. Now this one's been modified a little bit uh, different for the uh, Chevy 6500 compared to the Ford F550. And one of the things you'll notice that's different is uh, the bull bar is actually removable because this is yeah, a tilt that. down hood. So oh. if I want to be able to service this, I can just remove the entire bull bar and I can tilt my hood down as opposed to on the Ford, it's a uh, TIG welded, TIG welded um, part. all integrated it opens piece. up the other way. Okay. Yep. Now you got a, a how many pound worn winch? 16,500 pound worn oh, winch with a synthetic geez. line. Yep. Holy smoly. And we've got one on the front and we've got one on the rear as well. Oh, there's one on both. Yep. Now, do both Earth ro Roamers have both? Yep. So there's the rear one on that one. Here. Oh my gosh. You know, it, it's so it's always so nicely integrated. And this one, you just see it, you know. Yep. Um, you've got a two inch receiver. Yep. Yeah, two inch receiver hitch on the front. What's really nice about that is if you want even more storage, you got to bring extra bikes and a bike you rack. Put I put my bike rack on the front, right? Now, right. I've got room for that on the back as well, but some people nowadays are especially traveling with three or four bikes per person for the right terrain that they're going to yep. be riding. And so you can bring your other accessories on the front here. The, the, nice, the nicest thing about this is that even if with the bikes on there, I, can, can you even tell they're on there? From the Can't really see them. <laughs> it's so tall. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now let's talk about the, the, the paint. Because okay. we did not on the other one. The other one has a different color, yep. but the same type of yep. surface. So what did you do? So this is our own in-house material. Okay. Um, we call it X-Guard. Mm -hmm. uh, we can spray it in any color. Okay. Um, the nice part about this is this is UV stable. So it does, it ages well, right? It doesn't, okay. it doesn't get chalky. It doesn't get sun beaten or faded. Okay. It looks as good, you know, years from now as it does today. Okay. Um, a good example of it being that truck, um, the green truck, which has actually sustained quite a bit of damage from me on the trail uh, okay. in that truck. And, um, and it just washes off. It, it knocks any kind of damage out of the picture. Uh, you do any kind of pushing through any trees, you know, tight tree yeah. branches. Yeah, yeah, yeah rub it up against something you really don't want to. There's no cutting and buffing and polishing. There's no having to worry about paint correction or or anything like that. You just hit this with a power washer and it looks new. So you'll see it when you after you first do it, yep. but then, wow, hey. And again, the green truck has seen 10, 15,000 hard trail miles of me pushing it through places I probably shouldn't have. So speaking of trail miles, yep. we were talking earlier and I thought, I thought it was an interesting uh, demonstration of the vehicle's capabilities, but you were off-road sand, I believe, yep. right? And to, to, to demonstrate what it would do, you buried the you know you buried the truck. You stuck. Yep. You, you left the tires all, tires all aired up. Got it stuck. Yep. All right. So the question is, I would look at that and say, <laughs> good luck finding anything big enough to tow you out, right? Right. 
did you get out? Oh, absolutely. So on what our did own, you, it was easy. What did you do? Um, so we aired down the tires, uh, and really that was all we needed to do. We're running uh, still the double bead locks on this with the inner and the outer bead. We can air the tires down uh, as far as we need to to okay. get out um, and drop it in four low and just crawl right out of whatever we need. Seriously, you just need... Uh, if it had gotten worse, we have our max tracks on right. board. And then we also get to a point where we have our winch on the front and the rear. We come ready to go you know, I mean, solo off the grid. That, that I mean, that's I, I think that's an incredible statement because any vehicle this big with that big of a tires, you get it stuck on its own. And yeah. wow! So just airing down the tires and, and then you got out. Yep. Holy moly! Okay, what was the what what was the decision in going with a Chevy frame versus a Ford this time? So we decided to transition uh, with our new model over to Chevy and one of the biggest reasons is that this being the big brother to the LTI it is uh, four feet longer and it is a little bit heavier and we needed a larger chassis than the five series. Okay. So we needed a six series chassis but what we really also wanted was we wanted to retain a uh, powertrain warranty and all factory powertrain and Chevy offers a six series with a crew cab and with factory four wheel drive. So we're actually still utilizing all factory Chevy powertrain, and therefore okay. it can be serviced by any Chevy dealership in the nation. And so in other words, Ford didn't fixed. have one at this size where no. you, 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 you'd have to modify it. Ford only offers an F650, uh, which is not four wheel drive, or they okay. offer an F600, which is four wheel drive, but it's a single cab, not a crew cab. Okay. And I wanted the crew oh, cab. Oh, absolutely. You gotta bring your family with you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that, I mean, that's so good to know. I mean, you actually got the factory warranty on yep. on, on the, the frame of the chassis. And then, you know, we'll talk about your warranty on the stuff up there. Absolutely. Um, so, pretty much, uh, oh, okay, now, <clears throat> no. <laughs> I made this mistake on the other one. It's not all stock. It looks stock. It looks all OEM. It does. Okay, but there are a couple differences. One, you got the air ride uh, suspension controls. Yep. Uh, and then, you, but then in the rear. So, um... In this truck, we decided to remove all four seats and move on to Shielman seats. Okay, um, so they're so all different seats. These are all very, very nice Shielman seats. Uh, very comfortable, very adjustable. They are heated. Um, and we've taken a lot of componentry from other GM products okay. and figured out how to integrate them into the 6500. And one of the biggest reasons for that is the 6500 is their uh, commercial chassis, right? It's meant to be a... a a box truck or something right. like that. So, you know, you, you don't get as many of the bells and whistles no. that you would in your... I was uh, a little surprised at how many you had in there model. going, how did you do that? So we integrate other GM components from other things like a Silverado 1500 or 2500 um, and put it in the 6500 to be able to make you still feel like you have all Hence of the, the infotainment that screen. Yeah, that had, that had to be one of the things that came yep. out of something. Man, that is a... And that is a nice system. Yeah. That is, wow. Okay, now there is a hole cut in the, in the back wall. Yep. For passes into the camper. Yep. Okay, uh, and then anything else on the interior you wanna talk about? Uh, not really, again, we, we have so many options available <laughs> that it would take all day to right. talk about the things that we, uh, we offer, but the nice part about this is, is that it still drives like a normal truck. So it's still got hydraulic brakes. We're not moving up to air brakes yet. Okay. Um, and it still really is comfortable for anybody to drive. You don't have to be comfortable with driving big trucks in order to jump in this so and just go. Holy right. schmoly. So the back end looks a little bit different. <laughs> yeah. So um, the layout of this truck actually changed quite a bit. So even though we gained four feet of overall length, we gained actually a lot more than that in interior space. So the interior of this truck feels a lot bigger. And one of the things that we also uh, accounted for was we wanted more storage. When you go on all these adventures, you want to be able to bring all your toys with you. So, you know, yep. your kayaks, and oh, yeah. your, uh -huh. uh, your snowboard, or your whatever you want to bring. You didn't go off um, grid to watch TV. Exactly right. I went, I'm went. i trying to get this to the trailhead before I jump on my mountain bike, my e-bike, or my right. whatever, uh, my, bring my kayak out. So I bring all my toys with me in my garage. So this is a fully heated garage um, where I can store pretty much as much as I need. And right now we're also uh, working on our designs for different types of interior attachments and okay. accessories like big drawer slide out oh, or man. customized storage for whatever. Well, you know, it, 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 I'm sure you will because your, your first Earth Roamer, uh, Earth Roamer has gone through a bunch of modifications over the years. Every time you've had a better idea, right? You've right. Been, 
I can't wait to see this in two to three years and all the different right. things that you've done, like you're talking about. I see you have a household outlet right out here, too. Oh, yeah. Well, i got to charge my batteries for my e-bikes and other things like that, right? So you have that right there. And again, have, like the other Earth Roamer, this is completely off-grid. Correct. Air conditioning and everything. Right. So our every one of our systems, including air conditioning, heating, our microwave and induction uh, cooktop and our um, convection oven, everything is all going to run off of the solar and the battery bank so that we don't have to integrate a generator, which again, yep. this truck does not have a generator, um, and we're running everything off of solar and battery. Man. All right, so this one, a little, little different design than back here. You got yep. spare tire out because of because what, we what's wanted going on to be there. able to fit actually all of our seating in the back, and right. we wanted this rear glass window. So. And then this is very similar to what, actually probably identical to what we saw in the, uh, the first Earth. Yep. And, and this stuff, again, is customizable, folks. I mean, if you want to have it customized, you guys will right. customize what actually fits back here. You'll the, see this one has a Blackstone grill instead of a Traeger. There you go. Something Just different I mean, for everybody. Mine, you know, minute details, right? Right. That can be altered. Right. Oh, sure. Yep. You like, and you see it a little better from outside, but I still like that. That's my favorite. Yep. Right there. I like having that those uh, that storage area. Okay. <coughs> so, these two so doors we have, here? We have our ability to fill water, and then we also have an exterior shower. Okay. So, exterior shower for you, you know, wash off your boots or your dog or whatever you Does need. Does it have a hose with it? Or do you yep. have a uh, standard garden hose hookup, or is uh, it a... Uh, so, you just pour right into a tank here, so you can put a garden hose right in the side to fill. Yeah. But uh, the exterior shower is all built in with a nozzle, and okay. it's hot and cold water. Okay. Out here. Okay. Um, what is the connection point right here? Uh, so, this connection point is going to be our outlet. And our outlet is for um, a power outlet for you to be able to use electrical accessories. So it's a 110. Yep. Okay. So this is my this is my ability to use the truck as my supply for exterior camping stuff. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Now I I I think we're we got some people in there, but yeah, we're gonna go let's surprise them. Take a look. I'm gonna let you go on first there if you can. Absolutely. Not a hole. This is like, look, it has the cam, the security cam. Okay, so, wow, <laughs> you're not a kidding. This four feet makes a huge difference. Right. It is. Uh, Man, it feels a lot bigger than that. I mean, that looks like a living, a dining room table, uh, like a, out of a house. Yep. And that's, you know, that's kind of the intent is we want comfort for you to be able to entertain or just have a lot of space. Um, now, sitting up in that dining area. That TV actually also folds into the ceiling. Okay. So it pivots into the ceiling <laughs> and gives you a continuous uh, flat. upholstered ceiling. What's also nice about that is, is when it's you're upholstered sitting up there, underneath the TV. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, I want to know who sat up late thinking about that one. That's. I mean, it's just it's just those little touches. It's incredible. Yeah. It's um, it's also all framed. Uh, it's all it's all uh, woodworking framed yeah, all the way around, all, all, the around it. as well. So when you're up there, you have your 270 degrees of glass windows with views all the way around the truck. And you're way up, so you got a great view. Yep. And then this actually, this whole dining hey, room table. Rob, um, can we have the music going to turn down? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I mean that, yeah. yeah, that is just crazy. Yeah, so, um, actually, where's my iPad away? Is there an iPad? There's an iPad. There we go. So we're, we're just uh, lowering the music here for a second. Yeah. There we, there we go. go. Ha, we got it. Okay. So we were talking about you know the 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 three or yeah. the two hundred seventy degrees windows. Yep. And so also this dining room table actually telescopes down, drops down, and gives you a California king bed in the back of the truck. Now that's additional to the California King keys. bed up here. So you actually want to be able to sleep two couples or, you know, four to six adults. Man. Um, this is the truck you're going to use to be able to uh, to sleep everybody. So you can that, bring your friends with you now, too. I'll tell you what. This is, 
in style. I'm not sure if you're ever coming back from off the grid. I'm glad well, you assume he has friends. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you could repeat that, and nobody could hear that. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, Rob just said it uh, is if I had any friends. <laughs> I'm going to invite me, myself, I, and my other well, personality, and we'll be fine. That's all you need. Okay, stainless steel. Yep. Uh, fridge and freezer, microwave. Yep. Fridge, freezer, microwave, and convection oven as well. Okay, and it, well, that's right, yep. it's convection oven. Yep. All right, talks about the cabinetry right here. Yep, so this is going to be a full-size hanging closet here, so it's another cedar closet. Now we've got okay. show materials in there at the yep. moment. Um, but you've got a lot more hanging space in here, and then all of these are going to be full-size drawers, uh, full depth for you to be able to use for just clothing, extra things like that. And again, that's all real wood. Oh yeah. This is not composite wood. This no, isn't no, no, no. plastic. This is all know, hardwood. It's, it's 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 all and it's hand done. Mm -hmm. And again, customers get to pick out the, even the type of wood yeah, that they pick, want and the you type pick of finish. Species and finish color wow. and layout and all these different things. You know, do you want these to be uh, glass so that you can see all your beautifully displayed mugs and dishes, or would you rather they be solid front, kind of like these, where you have things like five piece doors? Right. Um, you know, in case you don't want people seeing your Tostitos chips or whatever you're bringing with you, right? <laughs> so um, you can pick options like that. You can pick a lot of different things in here. You can see here we now have a three burner, burner. induction stove. Bigger um, countertop. That's already, already there. Much bigger countertop. Now down here. Oh, washer seriously? Dryer. Yep. So, I'm, getting, I, I'm betting that's where you keep the beer. Well, well maybe we'll have to find out. <laughs> What is this? That's our uh, wine cooler. That's where the wine cooler went. Yep. So instead of just a wine rack, we have a wine cooler in this one, climate controlled. Huh. It's cl Yep. Wow. So these are the kind of things where, you know, the LTI is our vehicle that will go yep. anywhere, really tough off the grid. This becomes better for if you're going to be long term in the vehicle and you want your own washer dryer because that's a combo washer dryer. So you click start and it washes and then dries the clothes. All and it just does it. Do you have a drain hose on the outside? Where does it go? Does it go into a tank in into the vehicle? Into the gray water tank. In gray water tank. Yep. And then you just dump it where you normally dump. So we have 100 and, uh, 120 gallons of fresh water. Okay. And then we have 55 gallons of gray water capacity in this truck. Wow. All right. Let's talk about the bathroom. So in this truck, our bathroom has changed over a little bit. So instead of the combo wet bath, right. we now have a dry bath, which is a separate toilet area from the shower. And the shower has a rainfall shower and uh, and a nice glass door. I mean, it is, it's very luxury feeling. So um, pe people will comment and say, okay, it's, it's, a, it, it's a luxury camper. It really doesn't go off road. Where you you actually take owners yep. on an expedition. Yeah. So we Tell have us a about full, that. We have a full adventures program with Earth Roamer. Um, and so what that means is when you take delivery of the vehicle, you become a part of the Earth Roamer family. But at that point, there are a lot of our customers who still want to know where can I go, what can I do, really what are the limitations of the vehicle. Right. And we say, come out on a trip with us. We'll take a group of owners out on these guided expeditions. And we do them every year all over the all over the country. Okay. Where, you know, next year we may do seven or eight trips and uh, we're going to do a couple days straight in Moab. And then on a different time, we're going to do a full trip to the Tetons. Um, we're oh. going to do maybe uh, Camino del Diablo, which is the overlanding trail in southern Arizona. So these are going um, to some serious off-road places. Oh, yeah. And so you're not just saying they're off-road. They... No, you I, actually take them and I've the owners off-road. I've taken them a lot of places that people have looked at us and said, how the heck do you, you have something like that up here? Um, last A couple yeah, weeks ago, yeah. we got back from a trip uh, in the San Juan Mountains in Colorado, outside okay. of Telluride and Uray, yeah. and we did Ofer Pass with a group of our owners. And we got to the top of Ofer Pass and the looks from everybody else who were up there were just thinking... <laughs> Because first off, seeing a site of eight earth roamers all together uh, out in the wild. One is what a sight. Pretty, eight is... pretty insane. Um, and seeing all those, and you know, everybody's driving their own trucks. And so they're all having a great time. We're learning things like recovery. We'll do recovery yep. classes with winches. Um, so we're doing a lot of training with customers to really give them the tools they need to do their own crazy expeditions. So That's everybody, awesome. like for instance, a, uh, a pilgrimage for all earth roamer owners is uh, Alaska. 
everybody says, when I get my Earth Drummer, I want to go to Alaska. And we want to give you the tools you need to be able to do your dream Alaska trip and you know do it on your own. Wow. That's really neat that you actually offer that. That's... Well, they're, they're, they're part of the family then, right? Absolutely. You want to take part care of, of the Earth family. So let's talk a little bit about we've we've this this is the the more luxurious, a little bigger version yep. than the uh, LT one yep. that we the that LTI. we yes. the LTI excuse yes. me the LTI that we did, um, and you can check out that video. Uh, so let's talk let's talk about warranty. Okay, we know the chassis comes with the standard. Yep. Ford or Chevy warranty. Yep. So powertrain warranty yep. is all uh, retained by the manufacturer okay. of the chassis, which is really nice because it's very easy to find uh, somebody who can work on a Chevy, a Chevy yeah. dealer. Bring it to a Chevy or Ford right. dealer. Um, those make it very easy. Now, in terms of everything else, um, that is going to be covered under an Earth Roamer warranty, and okay. we are we take a lot of pride in our product. Uh, we are very passionate about what we do, and. Honestly, we live vicariously through our customers. We Their adventures are yeah. our adventures. Um, and so our goal is always to keep people on the road. We're always trying to keep them out in the wild, and we are not trying to... We're, tr we're not trying to nitpick anybody on the service side of things. Right. So what that means is we have a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty okay. from Earth Rumor, uh, and that covers just about everything that we modify, um, okay. anything that we change, or anything that we build. Okay. So, And that three-year, 36,000-mile warranty is one of the reasons that our customers have actually continuously come back to us for repeat trucks okay. because dealing with us in terms of service, you get the support you need where every time you call, you're talking to either me or you're talking to one of our um, our two uh, expert service people, okay. either our service manager or our service writer, who know these trucks front to back it's better right. than anybody. Okay. And um, we've got after hours and weekend support. We've even had in the past the ability to fly technicians all over the world to be able to work on your truck if it was something that you weren't able to bring back to us in Colorado. Okay. So we're really, again, we're trying to keep you on the road. We're trying to keep you having adventures. And our goal is to just keep you happy and keep you a part of the family. So I think that's one thing that our customers will all vouch for is they say the reason I come back is dealing with Earth Rumor as a company is a better experience than dealing with any company that they've dealt with in the past. Well, I, I, I have visions of several expensive car companies. You know, when mm -hmm. you go to the dealerships, you do get preferred treatment. I mean, you got the nice lounge. Nothing like that, though. Right. That's incredible. That is really neat. So let's talk price. Okay. So... On the uh, on the first one, the yep. Uh, LTI. Yep. So how much does that run as equipped? That starts starting price before options is about six hundred ninety five thousand. Okay. Uh, and then as equipped with all of those options on the demo model, uh, that one's probably sitting about eight hundred and thirty right now. Okay. Um, now this one, the Earth Rumor SX, a little bit larger, the Big Brother, if you right. will. Right. Oh yeah. More it's options bigger. like the washer dryer, yep. and things like that. Um, this is going to starting price be at about nine hundred and ninety-five thousand, so okay. just under a million. Yep. Uh, and then with all the options as equipped as we're looking at it right now, probably puts us about one point one or so. Okay. Yep. All right, man. I tell you what, Zach. Thank you so much for taking your Absolutely. time. You know, to walk us through these incredible vehicles. Absolutely. <laughs> things you only dream of. Right. You know, if, if you like off-roading and camping, it's like. Right. Wow. Well, that's so, that's our goal is to try and build what we dream of, and uh, hopefully that's something that everybody else is going to appreciate. Well, as well, and you build something that's going to last for an awful long time with the quality and the craftsmanship that you use. It's yeah. just incredible. Thanks again. We sure appreciate it. Of course. It was great to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. And thanks for watching.